Hey everybody, this is Mark the Game Shark here with another Let's Play video. And tonight we're going to be playing fast food on the Atari Jaguar. Oh, sorry about that glare. So, um, I don't know if you guys remember, but when I, uh, uh showed this in my pickup videos, I mentioned that this game is, like, riddled with bugs. So, we're definitely going to go over the bugs in this game, and it should be interesting. Um, this is a fun pick-up-and-play type of game, um... If you uh, can deal with the bugs and you have an Atari Jaguar CD that works, um, I would highly recommend picking this up. I think it's still $10 on eBay, which is a good deal. I mean, the packaging's good. I mean, I'll definitely like the artwork and everything, but the bugs kind of is a letdown, but hey, you can't win them all, right? So yeah, so without further ado, let's check out Fast, Fast Food 64, my bad. Fast Food 64 on the Atari Jaguar CD. Alright guys, without further ado, let's check out Fast Food 64 on the Atari Jaguar CD. God, I love the trippy uh, Toy Jaguar CD sit dart up. But at least it didn't say uh, can't find disc. So, yeah, so this game came out last year. I think the end of last year, actually. So, this is basically um, a revised version of original fast food on the. Atari 2600. So, that's speed to start. And you have five modes. The first mode is the Enhanced 2000 mode, so it's like the newer one. Uh, two is multiplayer, so we're not going to get that since it's only me playing. Three is, um, it's pretty cool. It's, you, you, um, instead of, um, getting all sorts of food, it's, you're just concentrating on, uh, hamburgers. And four, you can play the original 2600. And five, you can play like a virtual reality type of level, which is it's kind of cool, but I think the, the, the hit detection is kind of wonky. So, um, then without, well, let's start from the top, shall we? We'll start off all you can eat mode, 2000 mode. It just jumps you right in, oh my god. So, the objective is fast food is to eat all the food, even the soda cans but missing the purple uh, pickles. Now you have basically six lives in this game, as you can see from the top. You see three squares on the left and three squares on the right. Well, the ones kind of shifted. But you, yeah, you basically, uh, once you eat six uh, purple pickles, then it's game over. You basically just want to eat everything but the purple pickles. And the game ends up getting like super bad. Yeah, like I'm on the second level, it starts to get faster and the colors are all crazy, so it's hard to like make out what the heck is what. So it's definitely hard playing this game and talking too. So right now I have three, three lives left. And oh jeez, oh jeez, I'm trying. <laughs> oh, game over. Yeah, it's a fun pick-up-and-play type of game. It's very rare. I hate how, like, when you press start, it immediately jumps you right into the game, and then there's, like, a purple pickle, like, right there in front of you. So, like, you have to be, like, on your guard, like, immediately, as soon as you press the B button to start the game. Ah, oh, damn it. Come on, you fucking idiot. The hell are you eating... Purple pickles for it. You know that causes diabetes? Shit. Ah. So, yeah, so it gets faster and more hectic. Oh, uh. <laughs> Damn, I have like one more life left. Let's see if we can at least get to level three, which we'll probably see, see for a little moment because. Level 3 is like the farthest I've gotten this game because it's, it's outrageous. Like this. Oh my god! Yeah. 
<laughs> That's the third round. It's insane. It's impossible to avoid all these fucking purple pickles. How are you supposed to avoid the fucking purple pickles? Alright, let's try again. Let's eat everything. I don't know why you would ever want to eat a soda can. I'm not that hungry. That's some crazy fucking savage shit right there. I'm gonna eat some soda cans, yum! He like eats the entire glass that the milkshake comes in. Ooh, man. Now, I don't know how it is uh, points wise. I think some foods yield uh, higher points than others. I can't remember. I'm not exactly sure. Oh, come on, you fucking idiot. Get your head out of your ass. Man, all this food is making me hungry. Oh, jeez. There's all three. Watch, this will be like the... I actually beat this fucking level. Yeah, right. Nope. Fat chance. Gotta go back. You, you actually press, uh, option. Yeah, option brings you back to the main menu. Press B again. Yeah, I don't know if these guys can see that. It looks like the screen is like shifting, which I think is weird. I don't want to, I don't know if it's my eyes playing tricks on me or what. But, um, so let's uh, try uh, mode three. 100% pure beef mode. So you basically just get the burgers and avoid the vegetables. Oh, oh shit. I, don't, I think this is the same uh, technique. You get six tries in the original mode. I can't remember. So far, I fucked up once. Not twice. Yeah, the hit detection in this is a little wonky, too. Get in my mouth. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, it's a cheeseburger, not a regular hamburger. Oh shit, they're getting fast. Come here. Yum, 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 yum. Oh shit. How was I supposed to get that one? I'm just glad. Oh shit, this one's fast. I'm just glad there's no penalty for missing any of them. That would really suck. So I can just like. casually avoid them and wait for the fucking cheeseburger coming in out. Oh, that sounded weird. Yeah, so it's six lives, just like the original game. 64-bit power. You know, I never noticed it said silly uh, messages up there on the top toy right now. <laughs> Only eat burgers. Got it. This is a pretty, it's a pretty cool mode. I like how it, like, you know, changes, it changes everything up. I can appreciate that. I'm not getting that. Fuck that. It's a risk that I'm not worth. I am not going to be taken. Yummy, yummy. Come on, fucking idiot. See, I don't know why. But like, yeah, see, I think now the game's already screwing up. Since I changed modes. Because why did it, why does it have a gap between the first and the, the two next to it? Like, it should be, like, next to each other, which is kind of weird. So, yeah, so I might have to reset this game, guys, so I'll just use, uh, good old video editing magic. So I don't have to stick, stick through the boot, boot sequence or anything. Yeah. That's weird. The one's just, like, not there, so that's obviously a glitch. <laughs> I'm gonna blow! Probably shit his pants. So what, what time we're at? I'm trying to... Eight minutes? Okay. All right, I'll play with another round. <laughs> See if it glitches again. So yeah, so that's the way this game, like, glitches. Is basically, if you go in and out of moods, 
most notably the, the, the virtual reality and the, um, fuck, I'm not paying attention, the, um, Atari 2600 mode, so I'll show you guys that as well, this will be my last round for this one. Yeah, but see, look, now, now they're all next to each other, so what the fuck is up with the last game? Like, I don't know why this game has so many bugs, like, you'd think they would, like, I don't know, test a bit more, but, I mean, I'm not, I mean, I can't complain, I mean, at least it's not a game-breaking bug, it's just more of an annoyance thing, I mean, I guess it could be a game-breaking bug, because I'll show you that, like, it's basic, this game's basically unplayable when it gets really bad. Oh, all right, so we go back to the main menu. Now, let me try something. So we go back to the main menu. Right, let's try uh, 2600 mode. I might have to reset the game, but we'll see. Alright, so this is the 2600 game. So far, I don't see any glitches, so I guess we're good. So this is basically the same as the the first, uh, the 2000 mode that we played at first. And now we'll go, now it goes on to the second level. You're basically the same, the same thing. Eat everything, everything in sight, avoiding the purple pickles. And I believe you also get six lives as well, if I remember correctly. I'll, we'll find out in a moment. Yum, 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 yum. I don't know what half this shit is. What the hell is it, Coke? Oh, yeah, see, I think I think the game's glitching, because it should have an icon. Yeah, see, I eat another one. Yeah, see, it's, it's totally fucked up right there. So, right now the game's, like, in crazy glitch mode. So, let's go back. As you can see, it showed, like, shit that wasn't supposed to be there. Let me see. Yeah, see? <laughs> I played the game, and now the, the menu's there. So... <laughs> isn't that crazy? That's fucking crazy, isn't it? I can't see what I'm doing! <laughs> Alright, guys, uh... Let me reset the game and then we'll continue on the 20, oh, sorry, 2600 game. Hold on. All right, guys, we're back. After a reset. So let's continue on. Uh, let's go back to the 2600 mode. That's where we left off. Oh, yeah, see? I knew it. It's supposed to show the... The, um, purple, uh, pickles as an icon on top showing you how many you've eaten. So, yeah, so, yeah, once we got into that mood, it was already glitched. So I had to reset the game anyway. Oh, boy. But I do like the little, like, cutscenes in the 2600 version as opposed to, like, the new 2000 version where it just goes right on to the next level. I do like that sort of little break there that they give you. Look, see, there's three. I believe I believe this one also has six. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Burp. Let's try again. One more time, and then we'll go to virtual reality mode, and then I'll end the video. Yes, yeah, so, I mean, it's a fun game. I mean, I mean, the glitches definitely suck, as you can see. But, and they're, and yeah, they are basically game-breaking. But, I mean, not that much I can do about that, unfortunately. Oh, shit, I'm not paying attention here. 
Yeah, surprisingly, I, I know I mentioned this in my game pickup video, but I don't actually own fast food on the 2600. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Need to play. And then the last mode is face stuff on the VR mode. This is kind of goofy. Which I think this one. I might have to actually turn off the system again. Oh no, it's okay. It should be good. This is kind of like trippy. As you can tell, like the hit detection is very wonky. I think the music is louder too. I don't know why. It's kind of weird. I just noticed that. Give me the taco! And just like the other games, you have six, basically six attempts to try and avoid the purple pickles. This, I find this mode a little too slow paced for my liking, but it's it's kind of a neat concept. So you're like, how the hell do I get that attacked by that pickle? And that pickle comes out of nowhere. Alright, one more hit. Don't hit me. And I don't even know if this has lives. I think it's just the same thing. It doesn't look like anything's like going faster. Get away, people, I don't have anything to do with you. Oh shit, get out of my way. Damn, that was game over. Can I play again? No? That's weird. Yeah, I think... I don't know if you see it's hard. I can't tell if the game glitched, because usually if you press B, it jumps you right back into another game. So. Let's see. I guess this mode you just have to. You have to exit and re enter again, which is kind of annoying. I believe this is the only... I believe that's the case. I think... Oh, give me that fucking fries. Keep on in the habit of... Keep pressing B. I feel like it's like a... Trying to shoot them. With the wreck over there. Shoot the hot dog. Shoot the wonky hit detection. shakes either. I guess it's graphical limitations, I suppose. I mean, besides the wonky hit detection, things, game run, this game, or this move, I should say, runs rather smoothly. I mean, it's fun for what it is, I suppose. Yeah, I know, I meant to do that so I could get the fries. options and then exit out of it and go back. So let me see, I think it, I believe now if I try going to the original, let me see, it should be messing up again. Yeah. So yeah, after you exit the VR mode, it messes up as well. Like I'm supposed to be playing and I'm at the main menu. Which is weird. And I even go back. Can you set it? Yeah, it still messes up. So, um, let me be back. I'll, I'll reset it again. 
Gotta love bugs. All right, we're back for the third time. Oh, no, second time. <laughs> All right, so one thing I wanted to check out before I go. So I wanted to see now since it's, if this game is actually supposed to reset. So I'm going to purposely die in this mode. Because I thought that was weird how, I like, how you basically had to exit out of the game and go back to it. Okay. So yeah, so normally... This mode, this is the only mode you have to exit out and go back in, which is kind of annoying. So if you want to play a game, you think exit out of it and then go back into it. So I just wanted to show that to you guys. Let me see if the game's gonna mess up. Probably will. Yeah, it already is, because I'm playing. And it says game over. Yeah, and somehow I, I got a game over, actual game over. <laughs> so yeah, so these... So basically you have to like, you can only play like this mode. You have to play each mode separately, and if you want to switch them, you basically have to reset the console. Which, I mean, I guess isn't a big deal, because I'd rather play, like, this enhanced version, for the most part. And I'm game, and it's game over. So there you have it, guys. That is Fast Food 64 on the Atari Jaguar CD. So, uh, <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed this video and got a kick out of all the bugs that this game is riddled with. Um, let me get back to the main menu. You don't have a... Oh yeah, see it's <laughs> it's completely screwed. Look at the top screen there. See, so I definitely I would have to definitely uh reset it if I wanted to play the two thousand mode. So there you have it guys. Uh hope you guys enjoyed this uh let's play. Um if you have played any of the fast food games, um let me know. The twenty six hundred version. So yeah, um <laughs> I mean, I, I, it's a, like I said, it's a nice pick-up-and-play type of game, but it definitely sucks that you have basically have to turn off the console and turn it back on every time you want to switch modes. So that's kind of a letdown, but other than that, it's, it's not a bad game. Like, gameplay-wise, it's pretty decent. I'm going to cut this video off here. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, let me know what you think, and... Until next time, this is Mark the Game Shark signing out. Have a good night.